This is question number four. In the first part for three marks, we're asked to express 3x squared plus 9x plus 10 in the form 3 multiplied by the quantity x plus p all squared plus q. So in the first part, we need to complete the square. We can only complete the square if the coefficient of the term in x squared is 1. I'm going to complete the square on the first two terms and first take out the factor of 3. So we'll have now 3, lots of x squared plus 3x, and then I'm going to add the 10. Completing the square within the brackets, we'll have 3, then we'll have x plus half the coefficient, which is 3 over 2. We square the bracket and subtract away 3 over 2 squared, which will give us minus 9 over 4. I'm then going to add the 10. Multiplying through by the 3, we'll have 3 lots of x plus 3 over 2, all squared. Then I'm going to have minus 27 over 4, and then I need to add the 10. I'm going to write this now as plus 40 over 4. So just tidying this up, we're going to have now 3 lots of x plus 3 over 2, all squared, and then we'll have plus 13 over 4. So the value of p is positive 3 over 2, and the value of q is positive 13 over 4. In the second part for two marks, we need to state the coordinates of the minimum point of the curve y is equal to 3x squared plus 9x plus 10. We can see from our completed square form, the x coordinate will be minus 3 over 2, and the y coordinate will be positive 13 over 4. So we get two marks now for the second part of the question. In the third part, again, for two marks, we need to calculate the discriminant of 3x squared plus 9x plus 10. So we have the quadratic in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. a is equal to 3, b is equal to positive 9, and c is equal to positive 10. So we're doing b squared minus 4ac. And that will give us now 9 squared minus 4 lots of 3 multiplied by 10. So we'll have 81 minus now 120. And that is going to give us now minus 39. So the discriminant is minus 39. Two marks in total for the third part of the question.